And then it came Friday night at about quarter to seven. And prior to that, my husband phoned me and said there were 12 police, heavily police, um, uh, armed police, policemen at my house, and they were looking for me. And um, at that stage, I thought he was just, you know, joking with me because I was really busy for three days with this case. And he sat with our foster baby that was a year and five months at that stage. And I didn't make, you know, something about it. And then he phones a female captain and requested me, where are you? And I thought they wanted to apologize for what they did and not that the last three days. So I explained it to our classrooms. And um, she phoned me again and said she's at the gate which I opened and then I was, I was like, I couldn't believe my eyes because 12 policemen were running through the gate with heavily armed vehicles and um, they walked up to me and she looked me in the eye and she said to me, I'm arresting you for defeating the ends of justice. They cuffed me and she allowed the black constable man to, um, to, to what is the word? Um, Fisentier, you know, to, to, to look, what is that? To, to frisk you, is, is that the correct term? Yeah, 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 to look if I were armed in any way, whatever. So she, she stood there looking how he fondled on my breast and everything and, and look if I was armed or if, if anything was on me. And I found the cuffs on me that I took with when Majola said we were going to look in, in one of, in Sharpo for the other girl that was with the other victim. Um, and she said she doesn't have cuffs with us and if we should arrest somebody, it would be a problem. So I volunteered to do the cuffs with that was in my office. And when this policeman um, frisked me and he got the cuffs, it was like he got something really, maybe a weapon or drugs or, you know, he was throwing it in the air. And, um, you know, they were really just demeaning me and humiliating me. And when I asked him to call, um, she said to me, you can call at the police station, which never happened. Um, I was arrested, I was scuffed, um, and I was taken away to the police vehicle. With, you know, they took me to the police station. Um, I must tell you that was um, one of the most horrible experiences ever in my life. You know, um, it's hard to talk about it because for me it's a time to rejoice now and going back into that moment is really not nice and because it was really hard. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe how, how kernels. Um, and it, for me, um, Jerusa, it's not about black and white because my white colleagues, the people of my own same skin, demeaned me so much and in so many ways that I could not believe what I was seeing, you know. Um, there were black people as well, but they stood there looking at what this colonel said to me. He said to me, Anneli, what you are, sorry for the foul language, but the words he used was, you are f nothing. You're not a welfare worker. You're no longer a police woman. You must understand this. And, and you're f nothing. And, and he wanted me to get agitated. He wanted me, and he did this while there were 12, the same policemen who were there when I was arrested, were looking onto the scene. I was standing there. And, and because I know the police station and the cells, and I, I asked him to look for me because I, I, I really felt that he was really demeaning me in such a big way. And then he said to me, you know what, we're not serving the same God. He, 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 he attacked me on my, my Christian uh, capacity. And I looked him in the eye and I said, you're right, we don't do. And then he went furious.